we have received feedback, positive and negative. Um, so very often, I mean, a lot of feedback is kind of quite silly in terms of, you know, there's a lot of defensiveness. So um, uh, we'll fact check something that goes against a person's kind of, you know, beliefs or thoughts or, and the reaction will be, well, why don't you fact check this completely unrelated issue, you know? So there's a lot of that. But we also have received a lot of positive feedback in terms of how this is helping, how this is kind of a public service almost. So how, how this is helping people just understand that there is a uh, kind of a middle line between different, different voices. So for instance, we had a, we had a case of a fact check about a, a development in Comino, which is a small island um, just, just off the Maltese coast. And there is a, a private developer that, wants, that is kind of redeveloping a hotel and a bungalow complex there. Um, and you have environmental NGOs that are protesting against that. So you had these two kind of different voices, the environmental NGOs saying this uh, hotel development is going to be bigger than what currently exists and it's going to ruin the landscape, it's going to cause a lot of environmental issues. On the other hand, you have the developers who were saying, no, actually it's going to be smaller. So it's going to be better, it's going to be smaller than what currently exists. Um, and we carried out a fact check to see is it really going to be smaller or not. And what we found is that, I mean, the overall footprint will be smaller, but there will actually be more buildings, more development. Mm -hmm. So they're, um, uh, they're removing so like some abandoned tennis courts. And they're, so the, while both of them are right, it, it, the information is being presented in a way that clearly kind of this is being used for, for commercial interests and for... And I think a lot of people see these conflicting statements and they don't really know what to believe because they, uh, uh, they know the developers have a particular interest in obviously presenting the project in a certain way. They, they're not completely trustful of the environmental organizations because they also know they have a particular agenda and they have a particular set of beliefs that maybe they don't completely agree with. So they're kind of lost in this, in this mix of these two voices. And we've received a lot of positive feedback saying finally there's kind of a, a more objective voice saying what is true and what isn't. So we're not saying whether the development is good or bad, we're not saying whether the project should happen or should not happen, we're just saying listen, these guys, these guys are saying this, these guys are saying something else, what is true? And we just present that information and we encourage the public to make up their mind and to, to analyze it critically. And we've received a lot of positive feedback telling us that that is a good public service that we're carrying out. 